Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the show. It is Beaker and Lulu, and we're checking with you guys today here on Beaker's Lab for this new upcoming update. We're going to talk about what's coming and what we know so far. Now, we don't have any insider info for you guys yet. We may in the future, I don't know, but we're going to go over what we know so far, and I know you guys have seen it because it was in this right here in the events eight hours ago. That was like... Yeah, that was like pretty early here for me. I think I was, I was still at breakfast. I went out for breakfast this morning. So let's check it out, guys. We're going to go over it with you guys. And I'm just going to say, you know, what, what I'm thinking. And, and, you know, let us know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. So a lot of this is just balancing, of course. But all the way down to the bottom, I know this is what we're all hype about, right? Like, what? Like, wh what does this mean? First thing I thought about when I saw this was in Clash Royale. If you guys have ever played Clash Royale, which I bet 99% of us have, there's a trader in there, uh, but you can buy three different um, levels of stuff. You can get a, a really good card, a legendary card, or a rare card, or a common card. And I sort of thought about that. Maybe that is gonna be the thing that's gonna happen here. You can see the trader will have three special deals for you each day, and that sort of sounds like the same rubric, right? The same uh, frame work. Just making up words now, right? So guys, uh, what that's gonna sell, I can't be for sure, but I would assume the top one is gonna be a book. You know, maybe your book of heroes, your book of everything. The lowest one, I don't know, some loot maybe? Some dark, uh, a, a little bit of a, a little bit of gold, I don't know. And the middle one, potions, I'm thinking? You know, cause that's really all we have right now is, is the magic potions, the magic books, and uh, loot? <laughs> I don't know, what else do we even have? We'll see. Um, down at the bottom, it does say other rare and unusual novelties. Dude, who knows what's going to come up? You know, I play uh, Elder Scrolls online a lot. I'm so addicted to it. And if you guys have never played it uh, recently, they just came out with an update where you can just, um, you can like dress up your character in any way you want. As long as you've like researched that particular uh, motif, that style, you can make your character look any way you want. And I would love that for Clash. Like imagine if you could dress up your heroes, um, just ch you know, change the color uh, of, of their clothes or their outfits or whatever. That kind of um, customization, I think I would really like. I don't know if Clash is even uh, able to do it, if it's even a possibility, if the, if the game could handle that. But I would love it, man. I would love it. Imagine if you could change all your barbs, like, even if it's just one little thing you can do. I don't know. Anyway, all that is to say, if that kind of a thing was sold in there, maybe say, you know, for a thousand gems, you get a little token and you can switch the care, uh, you can switch the color of your barbs or your barb king or your archer queen. I would do it, man. I would do it. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let's move on to the next thing. So while we're here, let's go back up to the top. Um, you know, a lot of the updates, they're either huge or they're either balancing. But I think this one might be somewhere in the middle because we got a lot of balancing here, but I, you know, I feel like with that trader and if anything else big comes out, I feel like this is gonna be a big one. So guys, after the most recent update, Inferno Towers changed so much, right? And it was either like, oh, Supercell, you ruined my game, or, or, you know, some people liked it. I don't know, apparently, you know, they listen <laughs> when people uh, complain because we got a lot of Inferno Tower balancing here. Uh, Multi-mode damage has been increased. I don't know if you guys noticed, but multi-infernos are pretty trash right now. But at the same time, like you can't not have multi-infernos because they're good in some ways. Do you know what I mean? I mean, single infernos sort of took over. That's the thing. So this is hopefully gonna change that. We're getting a little buff out of the multi, even at level three. I mean, level five is getting a pretty serious buff. And the single mode damage has been balanced to increase the time it takes to reach maximum damage. Now that is a big change. You can see uh, about, well, yeah, a one whole second more is going on to that. So it's gonna take over five seconds to get to maximum damage. That's a while. And that matters. I mean, you know, think about a free spell. It only lasts like eight seconds, right? If it's max. So every second matters. That's pretty cool. I like that. Anyway, uh, Wizard Tower has been decreased just when I started maxing those. Great, but that's nothing. Dude, those are so savage to begin with. What is up with wizard towers? Like, they are too savage. Uh, new trap levels, I kind of like this. I haven't had any traps upgrade in a while. Cool. Uh, the most, what? Are you kidding? I was just rolling. Did you guys just see that? I was scrolling down. That was dumb. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let me go back in. Okay, where were we? So I'm most excited about the skeleton trap. I'm assuming everybody is. The skelly trap is so 
Dope. And if you get another level, it's gonna add what? Um, let me look at it right now. Hang on. Uh, wait, let me request some troops. And what is the skelly trap at right now? Let's look at the info. Um, hello? Okay, you can get four skeletons out of this right now. I would assume if we upgrade it, we're gonna get five. Probably not six, but pro probably five, right? So, uh, that's pretty cool. That matters. Let's go down and see what else there was. All the traps, like we said, cool. Awesome. Now, uh, something that you're either gonna love or hate is walls. <laughs> All level 11 walls can now be upgraded to level 12. Come on. Come on, dude. I'm not even close. I'm not even freaking close. Look at this base. I mean, I used to have a, I used to have a max base. I would like to say, I sound like, sound like your grandpa. Back in the day, I had a max base and it was so cool. All the ladies loved it. No, they didn't. I don't think I, I don't think I ever impressed a, a, a girl by saying, hey, I have a max base in Clash, but it didn't stop me from trying. All level 12 walls, I don't really care. Somebody does, somebody out there does. Uh, but let's go down, other. Other's good. <laughs> I mean, you know. I like to check the, the other box whenever applicable. Uh, the Barbarian King's Iron Fist ability will only affect the barbarians he spawns. Well, I already thought that was the case. <laughs> Good. Cool. When was that not the case? I guess I missed that. I, I yeah, I, I just wasn't paying attention to that because I never used barbs. Cool. Uh, the multi-mortar gear up is available to upgrade a single mortar at Town Hall 10. Again, something I've not done yet, but maybe I'll do it. Cool. Uh, guys, the trader again, we're back to that, and I think it's gonna be the coolest thing. Anyway, the coolest thing that we've uh, uh, been announced so far. Um, even if it ends up being, okay, so say it comes out and it's like, it's like nothing. So, you know, like in the shop, um, where is it? Sometimes you go to the shop and there's like a special deal. Oh wait, I'm not in the right place. Oh, it's just not here right now. You know, on the left, sometimes there's like a special deal. Maybe it's gonna be like that. It's gonna offer you like seasonal deals, random stuff, books, loot, um, sort of loot packs, like, you know, a, a million of each resource, 5K dark, something like that. Um, even if it's like that and we don't like it, it'll change. Supercell pays attention and if it turns out something we don't like, we don't use, we don't care about, it's gonna, it's gonna morph and evolve. So I guess I'm excited about it for that reason. Even if it's not something I, particularly like I think eventually it will be through like feedback and everything um, you know that we put in the game as fans in the future I'm always gonna keep ranting about like customization in the game and I hope that does come in the form of that trader in some way even if it's like dude seasonal decorations I want that I've always wanted that so we've got these these are seasonal obstacles you know you can't move them but if we had these that you could move and you could just buy like for Halloween Easter you know, this was uh, Chinese New Year, right? Um, whatever, you're able to get them and move them whenever you want. Like the cakes, dude, that could have been one. That could have been one you bought for like, I don't want it to be 500 gems, <laughs> maybe 50. <laughs> anyway, flags, you know, stuff like that. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for today. We got some more stuff coming up. Of course, uh, this was just the first little peek into what's happening. And I wanted to jump on and talk about it because uh, it looks really cool. And I can't, I can't wait to hear more about the trader. I can't wait to see it in action. Can't wait to show you guys if we get the opportunity. So we will do that. Be sure to uh, stay tuned for the upcoming stuff. Of course, guys, this is just the beginning. It's gonna be a cool update. It's always good to see everybody get back interested in uh, in Clash because it is a free game and we all have so many games in our lives, at least I do. So sometimes, you know, you sort of drift away to other things. You're like, oh, I gotta play this. But an update always brings us back, uh, back into the fold. So anyway, guys, we love you so much. Thank you for coming out. Again, tune in next time. We'll have some more stuff about this as soon as some more stuff comes out. We'll see you then. Peace.